So this is going to be the first video of the year. I'm going to do a pretty basic uh, Twitter React Native app. Just running through some search endpoints and then uh, just showing those results inside of uh, iOS app using uh, React Native and Expo. So the first step is you have to get your own uh, developer key and so Twitter makes it pretty simple to do. You just combine your uh, consumer key, your secret, um, you can encode it but this isn't supposed to actually change anything. You'll see it says does not change um, and then you just combine those two with a colon and then base64 encode it. Uh, once you base64 encode it you can use a tool like Postman to check and make sure that you're getting a response back. So you'll see uh, in my headers, I'm making a post to the OAuth2 token endpoint with the auth authorization header and just passing in that um, that token that we generated in this uh, base from this base64 string. Now with that, you're going to get an access token back. It'll say token type is bearer, and then you can go ahead and start running searches. Uh, <coughs> To the API um, for Twitter. So we're just going to do some basic searches. You can see if we did a search for Miami, re result type is recent, count is five. Just means we're going to get five results uh, that have some type of query with the word Miami in it. So if we hit send, see what the latest thing is. Uh, Andy Reid needs to go on a diet to fit into his clothes before Miami. It's not nice. Um, so let's see here. We're going to go ahead and open up the React Native app. And yeah, so we got this basic app, display search form. If you hit this button, you're supposed to display some search results here. So let's see here. See if we can kind of start filling this in. Um, so this is the page, really basic. Um, you can see I have two. Uh, routes, home, and results, just a search form, search uh, results screen, uh, all pretty standard stuff using React Navigation. So let's come in here to the form and let's start filling this out. Let's see if we can do haven't quite figured out how to uh, cut that noise off from the clicking on the recorded video so hopefully it's not too loud so we're gonna add in some text input fields and we're gonna give it a placeholder let's give this one we'll say search query um, what else value we'll give it a value of um, Q and on change text we're going to do so basically this is just gonna set some code that every single time the uh, the text here changes, we're going to update this state variable called Q. And so we're going to do another one. But this one we'll do for the count. So we'll call it count. And the value will be count. And this should be that. Let's see if that looks right. What is this? Display search form. Okay, it's not the prettiest thing, but you can see we have a field here. So we're going to go ahead and type in Miami and search Twitter. Nothing happens, right? But we know that we can get to this next page. So now we're going to navigate to the results page, but we're going to pass in these parameters. So let's see if we can pull the state variables out and we're just going to do a params object q count that should be fine and then on the search results page we're going to see if we can actually pick these up so let's see here what can i do <coughs> 
const navigation. This is going to be from props. So we're going to say navigation dot get param q, and the default is going to be. I'll just say the default is New Orleans. And account navigation get param count, and the default will be ten. And so now what we're going to do is. going to try and run that same query that we did inside of Postman, but we're going to do it inside of uh, this React Native app to see if we can get some data back. So let's see here. I'm going to pull the values out of state. And we're going to run a URL. Let's see. API.twitter.com 1.1. What is this? Search tweets. Search tweets.json. And then we're going to do some URL search params. So just call them params. So new URL search. Params, and so we do params dot append q with the value of q, params dot append count with the value of count, and then we have to fetch this URL. So let's see if this works. So we're going to do cons, pick up the response. This URL and pass in some headers authorization. I think this is basic. Is that right? Let me pull this from Postman. Um, there. So that should be bare. And we're gonna await this. So because we're going to do some asynchronous work, we got to wrap it in a try catch. And then I'm going to say response equals await response.json. And we're just going to console log this out, see if we can get some same data that we see inside of Postman. Let's see if this works. Component did mount. Okay, so let's see what we got here. We're gonna type in Miami. I'm gonna run search Twitter, and I have a oh, uh, actually it doesn't look like I have. Gotta do a catch block. Oops. have any errors there we'll show that all right so we're gonna try this one more time and we're gonna open up um, it looks like we got some errors query parameters are missing ah that makes sense so on this URL we made the query parameters but we did not pass them in uh, so Let's see if we can do params. That might look a little better. All right. So search. Boom. So these are all the results back as expected. And so now we can basically come up with a way to display these search results. Um, so let's make a very basic render function. I'm going to call it render search. I'll just render tweets. And make an empty array. 
Let's see here. I'm going to see if these tweets are wrapped up in any... Uh... Okay, they're in the statuses array. So... We're going to do a comment. We're going to do this dot set state. And we're going to do tweets equals response dot statuses. Yep. And then we'll make a function called render tweets. And let's see, I already I'm gonna do a loop. What is this dot state? So we'll do tweets dot for each. Return view text is going to be tweet dot what is this text? Let's see if that works. Here we're gonna wrap this in the view and give it some basic padding. And we'll say this dot render tweets. See if that does anything. So we'll go home, hit search, nope. Nothing happened. Do we have any errors? Nope, no errors. So why isn't this displaying? Response. Let's see if we have a value. For the tweets. Let's see if the tweets field is getting um, populated. about that okay actually I have to look up yeah, maybe. Maybe. let's make sure I'm doing this correctly Can't remember. Stop the fields. Okay. This render tweets. Let me check it one more time. Ah. Uh -huh. Let's see if we got some data. We're close. We just got to get the last piece. Tweets is an array object. Hmm. So it's going to take a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but we will get there. Okay, so the text is there. That's not showing up properly. Tweet stop. Ah. I don't think that's going to do it either. Yeah, but I do know what I need to do. So, basically, we can do this.
Yeah, so now we have the text. We just got to give it a little bit of style. So we'll say um, margin 5, font size 14. Let's see if that looks a little bit better. Boom, well, there we go. So now, oh, we have to give it a key. I think if we do this, that'll be our index. So stop complaining. All right. So now we got. We're gonna search for Miami. Get five tweets back. Going to Miami. Let's see. The game's on right now. We'll say Packers. Do some search for those. Ooh. Somebody's upset. Let's see, what about 49ers? Anybody happy with them? Looks like so. All right. That's it. Just a basic Twitter app using React Native.